Hello, I am in Epcot. Today is the first day of the Epcot International. Ooh, sorry, shadow, shadow. It's the Festival of the Arts. It's not gonna work, it doesn't matter. Um, today is the first day of the Epcot International Festival of the Arts. Um, it's pretty short this year. It runs from today, which is January 14th until February 21st. We have three vegan options this year and that's it. Um, they are all actually marked plant-based. One is my least favorite, um, so I get to enjoy that again for you guys. Uh, and we have two new ones. So I'm gonna go check those out. I'm trying to get in and out as quick as possible because I do not want to be around people. Um, but I'm here to eat and I'm gonna look at some art and I'm gonna get out of here. So let's go check it out. This is from Gourmet Landscapes. These are the blood orange braised beets. Um, I don't know how to say the rest of the word and I don't want to butcher it, but it's got um, vegan blue cheese chunks on it. You obviously have the beets. There's some um, mushrooms in there, which I cannot say I'm very excited about because they look incredibly slimy. Mustard, and then of course, little toast bag. Guys, I don't really know how I'm supposed to eat it like on the toast or what, but I'm just gonna eat some beets, I guess, for now. I think there's also golden beets. I think this has a mushroom, so wish me luck. There's a lot of flavor in it. The beets aren't like overly earthy, which I was a little nervous about because last year they were. Um, they're pretty well smooshed, easy to cut. Honestly, not bad. Not anything I would go out of my way to get again. I like beets, but this isn't like an amazing dish. Maybe it's, maybe I need to toast. Get a little toast, guys. I'm gonna put some stuff on it. I think this is a mushroom, which like, I'm scared to eat that. <clears throat> I, it's not that I don't like mushrooms because I love mushrooms. Um, what I don't like is slimy mushrooms, which are very different. Okay, with the little crostinis, very good. Um, unfortunately, you only get three. You get way more food, so you kind of have to like pick and choose what pieces you're gonna do with it. But overall, I mean, it's, a, it's definitely a better dish than I expected it to be, considering how much I did not like the beet dish last year um, at the start of the festival. It improved as the festival went on, but at first it was awful. Um, but overall, pretty decent. Guess I'll try whatever this is. Oh yeah, it's totally a mushroom. Oh no. All right. No, not good. No, no. Stick to the other parts of the dish. Second stop was Tangerine Cafe, which if you watched Festival of the Holidays, you know it was no longer a quick service location and it's just now being used for festivals for whatever reason. Um, but the vegan option here is carrots three ways. It's the most vegan dish I think I have ever been served. Um, there's a carrot puree. There is, um, I don't know how to say it, it's like bear berry um, roasted carrots and then pickled carrots on it. Um, full disclosure, I hate cooked carrots, so this should be interesting. Um, I will say I'm excited for the puree and the pickled carrots, but we'll see how the cooked carrots are first. If I can even. Nope. All right. Bugs Bunny style. The flavor's good. They're not overly cooked, which I appreciate because I feel like I don't like cooked carrots because they usually get too mushy. Um, but these still have like a good bite to them. And I'm just gonna smush them around in the puree. 
puree. I want to show you it, but I'm afraid that it's going to fall. So there's your carrot. It's actually pretty decent. Has a good little kick to it. It doesn't want to stay on my fork. Okay. I like this better than the beets. I am surprised. I was incredibly pickled. I was not expecting that. The uh, puree is okay. It's like baby food. But everything has like a good spice to it and a good flavor to it. So overall, I'm impressed by it. Um, I will get this again. Uh, if I come back to Epcot and the festival, I will, I will definitely get this again. I'm pleasantly surprised. vegan option of the day. Um, I saved it for last because I usually don't like this one and they've done it for like three or four years. Um, I'm realizing I'm sounding really negative today. I'm gonna be honest with you, I was so unimpressed with these menus and I think that's just where my brain is right now. Um, obviously the carrots were better than I expected, but I apologize for my cynicism today. However, this is a plant-based brat, like I said. This is from Refreshment Outpost. Um, I have to say the, the jackfruit looks better than previous years. It was usually just like black. Um, so this at least looks better. It still looks like it's impossible to eat by hand. Um, so obviously I have a fork since I forgot mine. But let me see if I can get a chunk of jackfruit to show you. All right. So if you look at it, definitely, if you've had this before, it's definitely a lighter tone. Um, so I have higher hopes on it this year. It's definitely a better, just like barbecue jackfruit. Um, I feel like in the past they were like trying really hard to make it like a coffee rub or whatever it was supposed to be, and that was not good. But this so far is better. I don't think I can pick this up. And if I'm going to, I'm going to sanitize my hands first. So, one moment. All right, let's watch me. I don't even know if I should try. I mean, it's in there. Like I, how, how am I, how, how? It's already broken. This is a bad idea. Sometimes I wonder why I do this to myself. All right, here we go. Better than previous years. I'll admit it, I'll admit it. Will I get it again? No. Um, not my favorite Beyond Sausage that Disney World offers, but it's definitely an improvement in previous years. Um, it's still impossible to eat. No, try the slaw. Let's see if I can get a little bit of everything, minus the bread, I guess. They do make these to order, so I'm sure if you're gluten free, you could probably just get it without the bun, no problem. Eating my words, definitely better than it was before. So that makes me happy. If you're gonna bring it back, at least improve it, you know? Should have grabbed a knife. What I should have done is bring my reusable utensils, but in me fashion, as usual, I forgot it. Because it's been in my universal bag. Oops. If you had this, I want to know if you like it or not. Because I'm, I'm still indifferent on it, but it's better. So you take what you can get, you know. I'm done with my time here today at the Epcot International Festival of the Arts. Uh, we had three options this year and that's it. I think last year we had four, but one was modified. 
R.I.P. the Yoza from Goshiki. Um, as you heard me talking about it, my way I felt about them, I would say that I would absolutely get the carrots again. The beets were good. I would share those again with someone, but I wish they had more crostini with it because that's like what like made it really good. Um, the sausage is a hard pass again for me. Uh, I ended up just eating literally the sausage out of it. Um, but overall, I mean, like, it's such a short festival, so I'm not, like, super annoyed or mad or anything that we only have three options, but at the same time, I'm, like, mildly disappointed that we only had three options, but it is what it is. Um, Broadway series is back tonight. They'll have, um, some people from Broadway on here. Uh, let's see what else. The Paint by Numbers back. Obviously, they did that last year. They had the chalk artists out. Um, other than that, I mean, it's... It was, there was nice art about some Jeff Granito stuff because he's my favorite. Fran wanted this cute little group print from him, so I got it. I am gonna stop talking because she's talking over me now, but I hope you guys enjoyed my video. Um, we're gonna slowly start working our ways back to the parks, uh, so just be patient with me. Later. Okay, so I already put my camera away, but I, before I actually leave, leave, I wanna show you. I got this cute little figment spork. I had no idea that this was gonna be a thing. Um, but I did not have to wait in a six hour long line for that guy, so. Isn't he cute? It's like the B1, but it's Figment. 